Hello, Aquarius. This is your reading for the 7th through the 8th. This is for Aquarius, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, and Jupiter signs. If you guys are new, welcome. Please hit the like button, share the video, and subscribe. I do personal readings, so if you guys are interested in a personal, please visit the website at pinkarianjim.com. If you are unable to access that site, if you're on a mobile phone, then you guys are welcome to email me at allforone.1forall74 at gmail, and um, we'll get it popping. All right, let's see. What jumped out here is the Seven of Wands. Feeling um, very guarded, I feel. Defending your position on something. Hmm. Let's see what else we've got for you guys. The star, that's you. I'm almost getting that you guys, not almost getting, I'm getting that you're like, Mm, there's something that you know that you know deep down inside but it's like you know you keep kind of questioning yourself even um it's like you're denying that somebody is actually your soulmate actually meant to be for you it's like you're not wanting to see it um, maybe this is something that you have held on to for a while that, you know, no, this is not the person for me, but what I'm getting is that, yeah, this is the person for you. Okay. Then we have the four of pentacles. Definitely holding back. Definitely. Definitely holding back. But, you know... You're holding back, but also still holding on. Or somebody here is still holding on. I'm getting that both of you guys feel the same way. Both of you feel the same way. Then we have the Ten of Wands under the Seven of Wands. Feel like you have a lot of responsibility on your shoulders. It's like um, something's getting heavy for you. And um, I'm feeling like it's all the responsibility, the responsibility that you carry um, day in and day out, like everyday responsibility. But I think there's something really bothering you from the past this is leo sagittarius energy here um i think that you know you've been running from your feelings for a while too just gotta be honest with you then we have the higher fit You guys are in denial. I feel a lot of you are in denial. Maybe not all of you, for sure. But I think a lot of you, you know, there's something that you've learned about an individual, maybe Capricorn individual, that you know you guys are on the same track. Like, you're on the same path in life, basically. Um... And I'm, I'm strongly getting this. This is a shared energy between you and someone else. The both of you are like not coming clean in this situation. Then we have the Six of Pentacles there. Taurus, Capricorn energy. I'm feeling a strong Taurus energy here. There's a very strong attachment with someone. I'm feeling like there's definitely somebody holding on to you guys. I feel like you guys are holding on as well. But you're more like, mm, I don't know about you. You know, that, that type of thing. Um, this person knows that you guys are on the same path that you, that, that you are their person even though you guys are probably not together they still feel like you're their person in the sense that um 
you know, yeah, we have this undeniable connection. I know we probably should be together, but we're not, and we're not for a reason. And at this point, I feel like this person's good with that. Honestly, they're moving on. I feel like they, they also feel bogged down. They also feel like, you know, they were, they had a lot of things on their shoulders as well. They were carrying a lot of weight. And they felt like they were carrying most of the weight. This individual, um, they're looking for somebody to share the responsibility with equally. What I'm getting here too is that they hate to leave you guys behind. Meaning that they really... Them detaching from you is not necessarily what they want to do. I'm almost feeling like they're feeling forced to because of the energy that's currently going on between you guys. You guys are not together. It's what I'm getting here for a lot of you. You have separated and there is some... Um, um, there's a feeling here on the other person's part that you guys will never be together again. They still know. Let me show you this. They know that you guys are connected. They know this, but they're not, they're not trying to share um, their feelings or their energy with you, though. It's a thing. They just know, but this is how they are currently. Let me pick this up. This is how they are currently. They're sharing their time or wanting to share their time and energy with someone who they feel like can reciprocate. They're not closed off to love in general. What they have closed themselves off to is a possibility of you guys being connected. Not being connected because you are connected, but you guys actually reconciling. They just they just carry this feeling that you guys are connected. That's not going to change. Okay. It's kind of sad. Because I'm feeling really kind of like. Almost want to cry. And I don't really cry. <laughs> so. Really kind of sad. Let's see what's coming towards you guys. Whether it's an energy or a person. Let's see what's coming towards Aquarius. The Eight of Pentacles. Here working I'm feeling like there's something that there's something that you want to start there's something that you want to offer you're working on it though you're not sure because there's one pinnacle on the table and there's one that um that person's working on, if you guys can actually see that. Let me move it over the air. They're working on it. He's working on it. So I'm feeling like there's something that, um, that you're unsure about. Maybe if you want to like reconstruct something or continue to build on something here. Because we have the Four of Pentacles here. And then we have the Eight of Pentacles over here. Two different people. Someone's holding on to the actual connection. But there's somebody here I feel like is unsure whether they want to try to put in the work to actually um, build on this connection. Okay. Virgo Energy. The Five of Cups. Oh, feeling regretful. Feeling like all is lost. There is no reconciling. There is no reconnecting. Um, 
I, I'm, I'm feeling a lot of regret coming in. Honestly. For you guys. Whether it's on your part or the other person's part. About not trying to rebuild whatever was lost here. Okay. Let's see why this is happening here with the Eight of Pentacles and the Five of Cups. I'm kidding. Kind of long. With, oh, the star is repeating itself here. And the Two of Cups. It makes my heart hurt. The reason why this is happening. Because this is your person. The reason why there's going to be, it's like a missed opportunity that's coming in. Um, either for a lack of effort here with the, five, the Eight of Pentacles and the Five of Cups. It's like... There's a lack of effort here that leads to a missed opportunity. And the reason why the missed opportunity, the sadness, the regret is coming is because this is what you guys have. Whether you are currently together or not, this is what you have. This is a this is a strong soul connection. This is your life path. This is your partner. The star sh is showing up twice here. Very strong message for some of you. Very strong. And is 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 it's filling me up, honestly. It's filling me up. Because there's also there's a person here that knows. That they love you or you love them because this energy can go vice versa. But there's somebody here that has an inner knowing. But they, they're feeling like they have no choice but to let it go. But they're still holding it right here. They're just not lending their energy to reconnecting. Because they feel like they have no choice but to move on and move forward in this connection. Because everybody knows you can't be in a relationship by yourself. Okay. So we have Leo, Sagittarius, Taurus, um, Capricorn, Virgo, Scorpio, Cancer energies here. Maybe an Aquarius like you guys. Um, but the star is the only card that's repeating itself a major and that's major, guys. Okay? So that's what I have for you. And I will be speaking with you guys soon. Bye.